Good evening to one and all. We are participating here in Texas Instruments Innovation Challenge 2014. Our project name is Volume Measurement of Petrol in Petrol Tankers using Optical Fiber Concept. Uh, we are using components given by Texas Instruments like the photodiode OPT101. We are using the voltage regulator given by Texas Instruments. Uh, 7805. We are even using the microcontroller given MSP430 G2553. Uh, we are doing the whole hardware construction You starting with the laser source which is the optical transmitter whose input is around 3 volts. Uh, we are then having a optical fiber taped with a uh, taping wire so that it doesn't react with the petrol inside the tanker. We have placed it with a curve. We have poured uh, our, the capacity of the tank is 74107 cm3 and we have poured petrol of around 50, 50 m3 volume. We have a photodiode. The light getting transmitted from the phototransmitter is received by the photodiode given by Texas Instruments. We are giving the photodiode a supply of 9 volts, regulating it using the regulator to 5 volts and giving it as a supply. The voltage taken is displayed on the LCD. The output voltage of the photodiode is given to the uh, microcontroller, which is then converted into volumes per meter cube using the formula. So now we have given a 3 volt supply to the optical transmitter. The light from the optical laser source gets into the optical fiber and is uh, sensed by the optical uh, photodiode. The more the vo volume of petrol in the tanker, the optical fiber is sub experiences a pressure on it and the intensity or the amount of light being received by the diode reduces. So correspondingly, your voltage output uh, to, uh, to your microcontroller will also reduce. We are using an amplifier to amplify the voltage and give it to the microcontroller. Okay. We are, our so we are using Energia for the so uh, software part. Uh, in our program, we have connected the input from the photodiode after the amplification at pin 14. Uh, and then we are using a conversion function to convert the whole uh, input voltage. Uh, we are connecting the pins 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 to the, uh, of the LCD to the microcontroller as given in the energy sample programs. Uh, we are displaying... Uh, if I, as you can see, we are give a, uh, we are assigning the pin mode to the pin 14 as input mode. We are uh, taking the analog input reading and assigning it and doing the following conversions as shown. And then we are displaying the result. And then we are displaying the result here which is the first digit and the second digit on the LCD screen. We have used a common pin ground to connect the whole circuit. Thank you.